you don't talk to people in a public restroom. I mean, it's like the people in the gym who want to talk to you in the locker room when they're naked. They're like, hey, what's going on? What are you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. Let's catch up. What the, you're naked. Let's talk. Is, uh, is your material based on, um, you know, personal experience and everything? For the most part. You know, a lot of it comes from personal experience, and, you know, you just stretch it and exaggerate it. I think the question I really have to ask you is, do you honestly think you're funny? Yeah. You honestly think there's a future in this for you? Yeah, I do. And by the audience's response tonight, so do they. I go have dinner by myself recently. Whatever, it's no big deal. I go to this Japanese restaurant. You know, I got the little fortune cookie lady like, hmm, you know, how many? And I'm like, you know, just one, just me. And she takes me into the dining room and she proceeds to announce, a table for one! Well, what about the Asian material? I noticed a young Asian man in the audience tonight. Talk about going into a Japanese restaurant. No, no, I don't think that was the offensive part. I would think it was the stereotype of the uh, Japanese dialect. I was doing the woman that worked there. I wasn't making fun of him. You know, now I gotta try and get through dinner with everybody staring at me like I'm in some fucking people aquarium. You know, they're like, mm, honey, look, there's another person having dinner all by himself. Chopsticks. He's just like we do. What about the rest of your material? Was all of that old material or was any of that new material? No, uh, some of it was new. Um, actually, the locker room bit was the first time I tried that. Um, the, uh, the sex with the vacuum cleaner bit, that was something that I just tried for the first time. The rest of it I had done before. And You've never tried for a while. actual sex with a vacuum cleaner, have you? No. So that was all fabricated? Yeah. Okay. You, you do things to try and get that laughter, get that punchline. That's what keeps bringing you back. That's what gets the club to bring you back or bring you in because you're making Nothing's laugh. off limits. Would you do black humor? Man, I didn't say that nothing was off limits. Would you do black humor? If it were... It depends on the location, right? Like you wouldn't do black humor in Detroit. Don't know. I mean, I don't have any black humor in the set, so I mean, it really doesn't apply to me. Something, again, if you want me to work on it, I'll try and work something out and see if it approve. you know, if you approve. Well, if, I mean, if you want an approval process, I can be there for you. Well, that's where it seems like you're going with this. I mean, you know, you're talking about what offends you and what potentially offends other people, the offensive stuff. I mean, you know, what are you hiding behind? You're back there behind the camera. I'm the one putting myself out there every night. You know, you put yourself up there and see what it's like. How is it behind the camera? It's fine back here. Yeah, it's pretty easy, isn't it? It's great, yeah. Well, this is where I belong. This is well, what I do. And that's where I belong. But I don't fabricate things back here. Like right now, what we're getting from you, this is truth. Oh, absolutely or somewhat the truth. 